Hey everybody, how you doing? So this is uh, going to be my part one of uh, doing a plexiglass control panel. Um, I'm going to do a four player plexiglass control panel. Um, I was looking for something to be 47 inches by like 16. So anyway, I, I found some plexiglass online. I had it shipped to my door. Um, it's going to be, the control panel is going to be used to replace the control panel on this one. That one's probably going to go into storage or I'm going to scrap the parts for it or something like that. Um, but regardless, um, I had to ship to my door. Uh, it'll probably run you about uh, 150 for the, the Plexi. This one uh, is a, a half an inch uh, thick for the bottom layer and a quarter of an inch thick for the top layer. Uh, when you get it, you'll want to inspect it to make sure there's no cracks. You can hold it up to the light and you can see it. Um, don't suggest you peel off any of this backing because you can you can use that for um, doing templates or, or marking up or anything like that for any cuts you need to do. So uh, you don't you're not gonna peel any of this off until after everything's cut, everything's all the holes are drilled and everything else. Because uh, any type of blades or anything you run over the top of this are gonna scratch your plexiglass. So uh, this is gonna stay on. And what I usually do for this is I'm going to put the template right on top of this. Um, so I have the actual template that I printed out. I used uh, like Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Reader, and you can uh, you can print it out as pages, um, as a PDF as pages, and just. Uh, cut them exactly and tape them together and use them as a template. So here's my template for instance. So this is going to uh, go uh, over the top of this and to do that I'm going to use some spray adhesive. You can either get 3M or uh, I get this uh, Gorilla spray adhesive. Uh, I'm going to spray that right onto the, uh, to the actual uh, covering on this and I'm going to, once I get this centered in the way I want it, I'm going to drop it on top of there. So the first thing I'm going to do is probably make my marks. Now, um, with this, I've got this little indent here, so I'm going to want to put that indent on my plexi. So I'm going to give it a little bit of room so I can like, put that indent on. So I'm going to measure that and uh, mark where I want before I put this down. Um, and I'm not going to cut today, but um, that'll be tacked onto this video most likely. Um, that you're gonna want to, when you cut these two pieces of plexi, you're gonna want to clamp them both together and cut them both at the same time. Uh, I got my cut lines on this uh, template as well as where I want the, the holes and such. So I'm gonna do that um, and then I'm going to uh, fast forward the video. So I'm gonna pause this right now. So, I've, uh, I've come to the idea that it's going to be, this little section here is probably going to be about two and a half inches, it looks like. So, I'm going to leave that two and a half inches here, um, which it is. Um, so, you want to pick up one of these drywall squares. These things are awesome. These are going to get your lines all nice and square. You can just use that. Uh, put it up to the two and a half inch mark, uh, which is right about there, and then make your line or wherever else you know, however you're doing it. Um, you know that this entire sheet is 48 inches, so you know what you want to put a center mark in it, so you know where the center is. Uh, obviously, this is the 24 inch mark. So now I have an idea of where I want to put. My control panel art. So I'm gonna obviously go for the center section. The center section is gonna line up here, which is right there. That's your center of your artwork. Uh, your second line is this uh, this other line I have here. So that's going to line up as well. Now you uh, even everything out. Your template, your cut template. And then, once everything is centered correctly, uh, which it looks like it 
is. Uh, I'm going to tack this down with the spray adhesive. Do that. All right, so I have I found my line. I got this thing centered, and I'm going to tack this thing down. Uh, I've got two bricks holding the line down exactly where it needs to be. So I'm going to use this thing and tack my stuff down here. So a little bit on the back of the artwork, or the template, I should say. This is the artwork from the template. Uh, you should probably be wearing a mask for this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not. So this will set this down. Get it as flat as you can, you know, it's not going to be perfect. The template, after all, it's not the, uh, the actual artwork itself. Get some bubbles in it, it's not a big deal. Lift it up if you need to. Well, it's actually going to be pretty hard to lift up. <laughs> And you're gonna have bubbles. There's nothing you can do. Back up, you can lift it back up and put it down. I understand this is an approximate, so. Any lines that need to get redone because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drill so I'm not gonna cut directly on the line I'm gonna give it a little bit of a like an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch that way uh, in case I need to uh, to clean that down I can do that um, all right one moment all right so after you get this laid out, you're going to want to do all your measurements, make sure, you know, your center point is where it should be, all the way to the end, make sure the center point is where it should be, all the way to the end, uh, which it is, 24, 24, yep. And then make sure all your lines are straight, you know, like I said, this is a great tool, you can, you can check all your lines, make sure everything's straight all the way to the end, uh, which they all are. Uh, dead center right here um, and then you're gonna 
once you have the bricks on that, and you get this nice layer back here, you're going to want to tamp that down with some uh, spray adhesive as well. So, like I said, you're going to want to leave yourself about an eighth of an inch. Um, because if you do these, I mean, you, you can try to put some covering around the edge, but I like to uh, polish the edge a little bit, so I tend to sand in a little bit, so that, that eighth of an inch is pretty much sanded away to make a nice uh, polished area. And also, if these lines aren't exactly correct, you have a little wiggle room to work with, um, about an eighth of an inch wiggle room. Um, but uh, these, you know, once you do a template, you get it set up the way you want. Make sure you cut, cut the piece of paper perfectly. Use a, uh, use a cutter or a, uh, a razor. Um, I like to use a exacto knife and a ruler to, to cut these lines pretty much perfectly. Tap them down. You got the entire template to work on with now. Um, it'll it'll make life easier for cutting all the splices and stuff. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of spray adhesive on the back here. Tamp all this down. get some on the template itself it'll dry You'll definitely want to tack this down good because you're going to be running a jigsaw over this, so <laughs> you don't want it to peel up when you're in the middle of cutting stuff. So you want to make sure all the edges are nice and so that place. If you get bubbles, it don't really matter because it's a template, you know, or creases or whatever. I mean, as long as it's actually straight the way it is, and you know, you could probably take the artwork itself and lay it over the top and just double check to make sure it's the, si the right size. Uh, you don't want to do that after you spray spray adhesive on it, but and at this point, um, tomorrow, well, I should say the weekend, I'm going to uh, run the jigsaw over this. Let me see. Um, you can get such a jigsaw blade with this. Let's see if I got them here. Here's a Flexi glass jigsaw blade. Um, there you go. I don't have any in here, but uh, for instance, so this is uh, this is Bosch uh, clean plexiglass Bosch um, jigsaw blades uh, is what I use, and that that this is specifically made to cut flexi. Um, let me see if I actually have it. I think I have it right here on this. No, that's not it. Anyway, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you it uh, when I'm ready to cut this and stuff. So I'll continue that video, that video at a later time. Thank you. So I just wanted to go over quick and show people how this is. I'm not sure if I, could, I should have taken this off and show people, but yeah, it's a little bit, you know, a little crease, but it's on there good. Um, and obviously, you know, you get your two sheets of plexi right there, your, your half inch and your quarter inch. Um, when I do decide to cut these, I'm going to clamp them together and I am basically going to follow along this line. Now I still got to make these two lines, uh, this, this back section here, because you'll notice uh, that it does come out and back here a little bit. So I left that two inches so I can make that back section. I just got to measure it out, but yeah. We'll do that and set it up. 
So you want to make sure that everything's going to line up correctly. Uh, your template's all set up correctly. So what I like to do is I like to take the original artwork itself, uh, which is which is right here, is the vinyl, and put it over the top of the template. Um, obviously, you don't need to stick it or anything like that. I'm not going to take it off. And just make sure the lines are where they should be. So obviously, uh, this thing is lined up very well because um, the pink line is the cut line, and uh, it's all within the cut line. Um, so yeah, when this when this thing's actually cut out correctly on that that uh, purple line, uh, this thing will fit in very nicely into the actual plexi itself. So I'll wait for that to be done.